in this application only the pole method with more circle is given attention to. For detailed information regarding more circle, please refer to the literature. Let me first give a brief introduction to the pole method with more circle. The pole method with more circle is a simple but efficient graphical procedure to find the stresses acting at arbitrarily oriented planes. More circle is drawn in a coordinate system with the normal stress as abscissa and the shear stress as ordinate. The coordinates of more circle points represent the normal stress sigma and the shear stress tau acting at planes with different orientations at a point P in the stress field around the tunnel. The pole is a special point on more circle. Any straight line drawn from the pole intersects more circle at a point which gives a stress state sigma tau acting at the plane inclined parallel to that line. The following introduction explains how to find more circle, the pole and the stresses acting at arbitrarily oriented planes. To apply the pole method, the stresses at the point P together with the orientation of the planes at which they are acting must be known. Let's assume we know the stresses and their orientations at the point P according to this infinitesimal element shown. This element is rotated at an angle of 50 degrees with respect to the horizontal x-axis. To find the pole, the procedure is as follows. Draw a diagram with the normal stress as abscissa and the shear stress as ordinate. The scale of abscissa and ordinate must be identical. In the diagram, invert the stresses as points with the coordinates of normal and shear stress. Connect the two stress points. The center of Mohr's circle is the intersection of this connection line with the abscissa. Mohr's circle is now defined by its center and radius. Draw a parallel line to the element's plane at which the stresses SM and SML are acting through the corresponding stress point. The intersection of this line with more circle represents a pole. Draw a parallel line to the element's plane at which stresses SL and SLM are acting through the corresponding stress point. The intersection of this line with more circle must be the pole as well. Since a rectangular infinitesimal element is used, the pole must lie on a tail circle. To find the stresses acting at the vertical and horizontal planes of this element, Draw parallel lines to the element's planes through the pole. The line parallel to the vertical plane intersects more circle at the coordinates normal stress SX and shear stress SXY. The line parallel to the horizontal plane intersects more circle at the coordinates normal stress SY and shear stress SYX. In the application, the opposite procedure is shown. Given all the stresses Sx, Sy and Sxy acting at the vertical and horizontal planes respectively of the element, the stresses at the 50 degrees rotated element are to be determined. The procedure is identical with the previous one. More circle is found with the stress points Sx, Sxy and Sy, Syx. The pole is found with the intersections of more circle and the lines drawn parallel to the element's horizontal and vertical planes through the corresponding stress points. The stresses SM, SML and SL, SLM are found with the lines through the pole parallel to the planes of the 50 degrees rotated element. 